Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First I want to start off by saying thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel um, and is following my journey. I hit over 12,000 followers so I'm super excited about that. Um, on my channel I used to write a lot more stories and poems and I, I feel like I've just been a lot exhausted lately and sorry if you can hear anything in the background it's just because it's late at night and my partner's home making dinner. Um, and I feel like I've just been really exhausted from work so I feel like it's just taken a little bit of my creativity away from me when you feel stressed and under pressure and this is my first real 9 to 5 career job and when I say 9 to 5 it's 8 till 5 30 I leave home around 6 I get home around 6 so it really is it's a long day so for me to spend my weekends doing YouTube, like creating these videos for you guys. I put a lot of time and effort into it on my in my spare time. So I think I want to really get back into creating more, like creating things that really do have that um, fun creative spark about it. I feel like a lot of the videos lately I've been creating are just those everyday videos that I'm used to and I'm not putting a lot of that um, like passion into it that I used to. I used to write poems and I used to experiment with a lot of stop motions and things like that. So today I have a little bit of a story, not so much a story, just wanted to update you guys with my life. So I've been at my new role for nine months now um, and I'm about to hit my per first promotion. <laughs> Yay! Um, and I think about all the possibilities this role will give me. Money, career goals, work friends. I've, I've got so many new work friends from this role. I get stability and um, there's there's bad days but there's there's really good days as well so I'm, I'm starting to think about all the opportunities that this role gives me but I'm also thinking about all the things that I miss out on with this role as well so not being able to travel as much um, maybe thinking are there other creative jobs out there um, that I might like better but I always keep dreaming I'm a person who loves to dream up I would say a better life or a life that that gives me more or, or my always my next steps um, I always think about do I want a small farm one day um, would I want to work closer to home um, am I missing out on those afternoon hours where I could be at the beach or all those extra hours that I could be creating but I feel like I, I need to stop looking forward as much um, I've been listening to a lot of um, Oprah's Super Soul Conversations and listening to her aha moments and I feel like there's those moments in life where you need to realize that you're heading in the right direction. If it's something that, it, if it's not negative and it's something that's moving you forward, then I feel like it's gonna, it's positive, it's, I'm learning new skills, it's getting me in the right direction. Um, and I need to make the most of now, which is a lot of Eckhart Tolle's um, teachings is, is being present in the now. So when I'm walking to work, I'd be present in, in looking at the sun and making sure that I acknowledge the sun rising. I come home in the dark, so I need to look up at the, the full moon and see what phase it's at. So living in the now is really important. I'm not eating in the now, so I tend to, I wouldn't call it stress eating, but I eat, um, I've got snacks in my drawer next to my desk and a lot of the times we're interviewing at lunchtime because our candidates get lunch breaks off to come interview with us so I've got sporadic like I, I sometimes I scoff meals down to get to my next thing and um, I've really got to start learning to, to love the little moments and every success I get just really enjoy it so I've decided that I do need to have a f take a few breaths and just sometimes I need to slow right down and I think I just need to do nothing just be present do nothing and be still on my weekends a bit more and then the days that I do get to create and create these videos I feel like that's gonna bring a lot more creativity into my life I live in a really beautiful part of this world and I'm living right next to the beach and I need to I really appreciate that it's not that I don't appreciate it that I need to take more time out and just really enjoy it and soak that up and I think I'm just at a time in my life where there's lots happening, I'm growing and 
Um, I would love to be more creative in a job that gives me that, but um, I feel like I, I, I am where I need to be because I'm learning so many skills from this job. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to put that one out there. I, I feel like I speak about my job a lot lately, but it's only because it's the main thing happening in my life. Sorry, my camera just died. So I was just saying then that I know I've been talking about work a lot in my last couple of videos, but it's only because I've just been working a lot lately. But I have been thinking about how I can make my life a little bit more simple. And I need to start by the things that I do outside of work. So. I feel like meditation more, watch less TV, and enjoy the weekends by just being a little bit more still. Every morning on my way to war, on my way to work, I could spend five more minutes, wake up five minutes earlier, and stand with my feet in the sand before going on that bus just to ground myself each morning. Um, I feel like that would really improve my days. I, I tend to wake up in a rush and get to work in a rush and and then my whole day is a rush. So by waking up a little bit earlier and making a little bit of a routine, in the afternoons I've, I'm exercising so I'm going to the gym a couple of times a week. So I feel like my afternoons are rush and then I do a heavy like fast exercise and then night times rush at home and, and then I try to get all the work chores done. Um, dinner done and then I'm, I'm going to sleep exhausted so taking those moments before bed or in the mornings would really settle me down a lot more and I don't know how you guys settle down before or after work but I feel like cutting TV out would be one big step forward for me um, so yeah I feel like that's something that I wanted to put out there <laughs> let you guys know where I'm at where my head's at um, and yeah really focusing on on self-help and um, yeah self-love lately I guess I've been listening to um, another podcast um, your dream life the lady who owns Kiki K and I've listened to one this morning I, I'm absolutely obsessed with podcasts and I listened to one this morning it's all about food and just being mindful of food and there was a really good tip on there it's it's not what you put in your body it's how you digest your food is a big thing so being aware of what your body wants and for me I have really bad digestive um, problems a lot so today I was eating a lot of nuts and my body just can't consume the amount of nuts that I was eating although I love macadamia nuts um, I just need to be more mindful of what I'm putting in my body so my body can digest it better so for me things like eggs chickpeas um, and a lot of chicken for some reason my body just doesn't like to, to process um, a lot of those kind of foods so it seems like a bit of protein or dairy products um, my body doesn't like to process so being mindful of what I put in my body will also help my body run better throughout the day I notice I get peaks throughout the day after lunch I'll have a real real dull um, my body will just be overwhelmed trying to process all my food so I get I get low peaks straight after lunch where I feel like I'm in a food coma and then I get this burst of energy in the afternoon because I usually have something sugary <laughs> so I've I really need to start being more aware of my body and tracking it so not so much going on diets but just tracking how my pro body processes food and what kind of food it wants to process so even at night time just making my meals smaller um, in the mornings I've started buying lemons so lemon in hot water so that really helps everything um, process better throughout the day and flush out anything that's bad but for me it's the biggest key things for this year for me is really um, being more mindful of how I start and end my days so being present and and just not starting in a rush and ending in a rush being more mindful of what what my body doesn't like to eat and what my body can actually pro process and also just trying not to always constantly thinking about the future and what I should be doing or what's better out there or is the grass greener on the other side because sometimes I just need to really appreciate that 
what I'm doing now is what I need to be and need to do and constantly thinking of my next trip or my next video or my next job is just something that's just not going to make me appreciate what I have now. I have amazing work friends, I've got a lovely um, location at work where we can walk down to the harbour, the Sydney harbour at lunchtime. We did that today and it was so lovely. We walked down to Luna Park around the bay and we're just soaking up the sun and winter here in Australia is not, not really winter compared to other places in the world. So just appreciating that and then hopefully I can implement waking up earlier and going over to the beach and doing a a bit of a meditation in the morning that would absolutely be amazing I feel like I'm not self-motivated at the moment especially um, strict on myself with food and waking up early so if I incorporated those two things I think that would really improve myself and my weeks I'd love to know what you guys do each day or what you guys are focusing on over the next couple of months I feel like I'm always constantly listening to new podcasts and reading new books about health and wellness. Um, and yeah, I always love talking to my family about this stuff and close friends. So if any of you guys have any tips or things that you love incorporating in your life, let me know. <laughs> I'm on a journey at the moment, so do let me know. And I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.